Hello guys and welcome to part 23 of Let's Play Red Dead Redemption. Red, man I already screwed that up, this is the intro. Part 23 of Red Dead Redemption 2, let's go. Wow, I screwed that up on the intro. And you know what? You know what? I have, I have pride in my work. I'm actually going to leave that. I'm going to leave that in. It was messy, it was terrible. And I, and I have no idea why I'm leaving it in, but I'm going to leave that in. You know, we keep things authentic around here. We aren't doing any, you know, post-production, you know, changes, no changes in, in no settings, none of that. Everything is authentic on this channel and I'm going to keep it that way. Part 23, man, I, I, look, I'll be honest, I have no idea how many parts. Oh, that's a cool little cutscene. I don't think I've seen that before. He just um was just writing something in his diary. Just chilling. Okay. Then, That's pretty girl. cool. It's a cool little detail. Yeah, I feel like this game has so many details that I'm yet to discover. But I look forward to seeing them all in their full glory. Now my calls are low. So like a true citizen, I'm gonna have to increase my calls. Now what can I use? Now I do feel like the the, the classic cakes were for the horse not me because i've definitely seen this in the horse menu so i think i'll leave it for now hey okay i'm pretty sure i can't eat hey so i'll leave that there open fine brandy let's have some of that why not have some brandy now i need my stamina and my health oh my horse calls are down as well man this is a bad start to the episode so far but we will continue Where's the heart, 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 heart? Oh, there it is. Oh, canned sweet, canned sweet corn? You already know that's a classic. All right, people. Let me um go to my horse. Let me feed my horse with something and hopefully this sorts him out. There we go, horse calls it back up. Now, as per what we're gonna do in this episode, in the last episode, it was the whole romance thing between the greys and the braith weights, I think. But I think, yeah, in this episode, we've got the two missions. We've got Abigail Roberts. She wants to say something. And Lenny. My boy, Lenny. We'll probably do um, that mission first. Lenny. I mean, look, to be honest with you, every time I see Lenny, it just reminds me of that bar. Um, that bar mission. Man, that is easily my favorite mission. Easily. Hold on there. A minute at a time. Let's get us a closer look at this one. Oh, no. Around here, strangers gotta cough up pace. Get down from there. You hear me? Cough up payments? Oh, come You're on, about man. to make a donation to the cause, brother. Hands up. All right, all right. I'll make a donation. Little places folk like you will stash things I'll make away. a donation. Psych! Shit. My favorite donation is myself. That's who I'm donating to. No one else is getting any donations. I will donate money to myself. Fools. The only person getting a donation around here is me to myself. That's it. These Lemoyne Raiders have to learn their lesson, that's what I'm saying. These raiders think these raiders are thinking they can steal from me? From Arthur Morgan? Let's see if there's something in here actually. No, there's nothing. No, 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 no. Get, get out of this. I don't want any part of this. Alright, cool. Let me uh search this guy. See, like these raiders actually have a lot of stuff on them. Like they got platinum. You know what I mean? Platinum watches, platinum bracelets, platinum, I mean, who knows what else. Revolver cartridge, platinum pocket watch, that's what I'm saying. These raiders are balling. Come on, horsey. Let's get the hell out of here. Those people really thought that I was going to make a donation. Come on now. Come on now, I ain't making a donation. Get out of here with that. Ooh, now that is a house on its own which may have some interesting 
I don't know. Something about it. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's drop down. Now there's a little... Barn type deal? Is it possible to go in? Nope. Can't have a look at it inside. Let's... Let's go inside and see what we can, um... Find. Ooh. I feel like I've been here before. Why do I feel like I've been here before? I do have a feeling that I have come here before, but I don't remember for what or why. Yeah, it was some... Some mission. From memory? Anyway, I've already been here, so... Might as well head back Let's out. Go, girl. And I also like yeah. how when you're staying in the dark, right? Like if you're in a dark area and you walk out, the, the light hits you. You know what I mean? Like that glare? Especially when you've been in a dark area, like we were in the house. Oh, the second... sir, just in time. What's this? I'm lost out here and I ain't got no food and no water. No food and no water. Now, do I trust oh, this man? Oh, you're a good man. A Wait, what? good man. I didn't even say anything. What the hell? Oh, hell no. Get the fuck off my horse, Is sir. Had to ask for help, huh? What the hell was that? really had one dollar. Yeah. That is just absolutely shameful. You know, it's so cool that they have those encounters in the game. That's really, really cool. Because I do feel like... I mean, I do feel like the encounters have been, you know, varied up a fair bit. Right? Because you have some people who genuinely want help. Right? So you help out those people. And then you get someone like that. Who's obviously, you know, like trolling you. And like, the, because the second that he kicked Slow me off the horse. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on, it looks like a fella here wants trouble. Nah, I'm not gonna do anything to him. Hey now, you're somewhere you shouldn't be. Oh, Riri. How about I hit you with the Springfield rifle there, you mate? Leave here. Ooh. That was a clean headshot. And like, that was clean. I had no reason to murder this man, but that shot was clean, I'll be honest. That was a real slick kill, if I may say so myself. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here. Horsey, don't run away from me, you're my horse, you need to obey my commands. Thank you very much, Horsey. Yep. And we will be starting the mission. No, no. man, I, I've got to apologize for that, it's been 8 minutes, I still haven't started the mission yet. But we got there in the end, lads. Right, now let's see what needs to be done. So we need to go and see my boy Lenny. Lenny! Where are you, Lenny? You must be in here somewhere. Camp fund $16. Now I do need to donate to the camp, don't I? Oh, we've got some people who want to chat. Stay away from me. Oh, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Here we go. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. <laughs> it always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> sad man indeed. Where's the tip? Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then. No, where's the tip? He said he had a tip. Oh, no, I'm interested. Well, you have an exclamation mark over your head. This is it. So what? You're a deputy now. Here, got a hold of a harmonica for you. I look forward to hearing you play. The only audience I ever had was my husband, and I'm gonna keep it that way. Oh, fair enough. But thank you, Arthur. This is real kind of you. My pleasure, Miss Adel. My pleasure indeed. Now, if you could do me a favor and blow my harmonica, 
That would be greatly appreciated there, miss. And I don't mean the musical instrument. Boom! There's my boy, Lenny. Arthur! Lenny! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? I'm just chilling, Lenny. Ah. Uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, have been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well... Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> God damn, I was these transitions. Be if it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. These transitions from gameplay to cutscene are so smooth. Like, you know, from the gameplay to the cutscene, to the cutscene, back to the gameplay. Extremely smooth. It's just so impressive to actually see being done. Especially, you know, like, like if it's just one scene or one part of the game, it's like, alright. It's this way. On me. But constantly, consistently, it's just so smooth over and over again. Like, it's, it's really something. You know, I mean, it, it feels like the perfect mix of a game and a movie all in one. It's just so damn impressive. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrified. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. There we is go. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. Dang. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west, it's... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right? Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well... I guess their gold still shining, and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Fair enough. Man, look at that view. I mean, like, to be honest with you, I still can't get over the fact that the game looks real. I mean, the clouds even. Like, even the clouds look real. Like, I, I, I can't get over the detail of this game. It's incredibly realistic. Like, it blows my mind still. Right? And I should mention Feels that... Feels like we're close. Ooh. It's a run-down old plantation house. Down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. Oh, if, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. Of they course. said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. 
I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that? First of all, let me uh, prepare myself. Search up ahead. They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Right, so there's the outpost. And it looks like we might get Look involved in a shootout. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. That's pretty uh, that's pretty sick actually. You've got like the barracks. You've got a little trench. Got all sorts of stuff here. It's pretty cool. Those range in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Oh no. Oh no. Quickly paint, Arthur, come on. Hurry up and paint. Ooh. Mr. Da Vinci over here. Look there. The wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Okay. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellas out on the road. Just Those two the random back. fellas. They look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow at least. Probably. It was just so strange how we're like in the middle of a mission and he just starts to paint. He's like, nope, I'm not satisfied until ah! I finish my paint. I think I see something. Ooh. Into the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. That does look like a big house in the middle of nowhere. Hey, big plantation house. Oh yeah. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there. Off the trail. Yes, we Enough shall. To me. No, no, now I probably should hitch, hitch my horse, right? Should I? Are oh, we I am thinking this? I should. We are doing it. Relax, man. I'm gonna hitch my horse. Pretty sure I could do it. There we go. Right next to the tree. Come on. We can get a view on him from that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? Oh, my side of I'll take the other side. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, it's already equipped. You get in cover there. Arthur's already ahead of the game. Okay. Well, let me crouch and let me see. Right. Oh, that is quite the vast area. All right, there's my boy Lenny. He's chilling. Use the scope to investigate Shady Bell. All right. You see anything through your scope? What do Just I see? A moment. Some explosives? I'll wait on your say. Explosives? I know dynamite crates when I see them. More explosives? Got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot. Then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. <laughs> Shoot the dynamite, I'll you send make Lenny. A call? You know what? I'll send you. Going in, kid. Give them both barrels a charm. Here we go. Wouldn't try anything less. <laughs> man, he's just willing to risk his life. He's just like, man, that's the dumbest idea that you've ever had, Arthur Morgan. But on the flip side, Get ready for my uh, Oscar winning performance. Is a fine and fabulous day. <laughs> all days, and so may it be. That's hilarious. Praise be, my people. What do you want? Praise be, my people. Praise be. Now, I come in peace to discuss the merit of glory and interest you. I was like, screw it, let me just stop shooting, this is taking way too long. I was like, forget it. Alright, here we go. Here we go. That's one down. Great little sniper. Boom, oh, another one. He's going quick over here. Where you at? Where's the dude? Where are you? 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 Where are
Okay, there's another one. Quick scope. Back up stop. Full of duty. Oh. So there's another one. Where's the next guy? Headshot. Headshot. Ooh. Ooh, that was nasty. Right on the button. Oh my god, he's about to kill Lenny, I didn't realize. He was about to kill Lenny. I didn't even see it. I was like, wait, hold on. Oh come on. What? Come on. Come on. Oh my god, this is this is it. What? How many shots am I gonna miss? Oh, fuck. There's a guy over here. There's a guy just here. Oh my god, it's a million times. He's going for the Gatling. Look out, he's firing. Oh, the Gatling gun. But, nothing to worry about. It's nothing I can't solve. Ooh. Oh, that was clean. I'll take the shot. Push it up, push it up. Oh, it's so much easier with the repeater. It's, oh my god, it's so much easier. Why was I using this rifle? Still alive, kid? Just barely. Boom, bang, bang, bang. That's a blood shot right there. Looks like we're all clear. Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Grab some weapons. But let's first of all, okay? let me get some loot. Let me get some platinum bands. You know what I mean? I'm looking for a reward after all my hard work just there. I mean, I mean, I, look, I, I, I can't say it. <laughs> I'm just like, not yet. While well, I'm just looting everyone. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> like he's asking good. me if I've got anything. I'm just like, nope, I've got nothing. Meanwhile, I'm picking up gold watches and platinum bracelets. Right, let's see what's in here. Shall we? Here. Come on. Ooh. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's yeah, go, we, let's go. We can go. We can go, but I prefer to get some loot beforehand so let me just do that real quick loot 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 i mean surely i can't be the only person that loves to loot right and getting all this stuff i'm in mean, a gold pocket one. Oh my god look at that the dude's head is gone he doesn't even have a head anymore you know what the details of the injuries are actually really impressive in this game you know like if you like if you shoot a person you know like on a specific place in their body, it's not it's not predetermined. Because I feel like I've played plenty of games where I shoot a person in like the hip for instance and they'll have the actual hip bullet hole in like the upper chest or in the stomach. It's like just a few like ten places let's say on every body where the you can actually see the injuries. Right? And and so sort of purpose is that it's just a safe storage I guess. But in this game it's really specific. Like if you shoot a person in one spot, like in one specific spot, it's going to show in that exact, like in that exact spot. It's pretty damn impressive, honestly. Man, the detail in this game, to be honest with you, will never cease to amaze me. Like, like there's some really great detail. And the crazy thing is, I haven't even played the full game, right? Like, I really haven't. So to see all this detail in this game, it's just, it's mind-blowing. Especially because I know there's more to come. 
Move over, Lenny. Oh, okay. All right. So you're just gonna push me over. That's. I mean, that's fine too. That's fine too. Don't mind it. The only thing I'm nervous about is that we have the crates in the back. Like we have dynamite crates in the back. So if we get followed back to camp, we need to get these back. Well, if we get shot, it'll be a real problem. I feel like I should have my pistols ready because I know for a fact we are about to get, you know, chased. Come on, G up. Come on, horsey. Horsey, are you coming? Looks like you are not coming because I did hit you. Whoa. Okay, no, no, you won't. Yep. Because at first I was nervous. I was like, oh my god, he's not gonna come. You know, I, I had that concern as well because. Right. Coming our way. Keep it together. Ooh. Oh no. Hey, stop! What's a black fella doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. Interesting question, and the answer is it's none of your damn business, man. Anyone chasing us? I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> we are out of the damn woods, you did finally. Good. We did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to. <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragger. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. Guess my better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But enough, but enough. I mean, Dutch, and everyone who counts. We know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Damn, look at that. Thank you, Arthur. Character development, that's what I say. Cinematic camera. We've got the horses in the back. Some great stuff, I great stuff I say. So I think what's gonna happen is we're gonna switch camps, right? So we're gonna move out of um out of oh what's that called? Clement's point, I think it uh I'm pretty sure it is. Our current camp. Hey, and we're gonna move into Shady Bell. The camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. And now I guess it's gonna transition back to gameplay. Come on, horsey. There we go. There we go. Arthur, Lenny, back coming game. back. Oh, Sadie left a reward for you. Yeah, I saw that. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. I'm guessing that's the Springfield. Oh, the bolt action. Oh, so it looks like someone Wants me to test my new weapon on them. In that case, oh, I am more girl. than happy to. Yep. You mean to tell me the second I get a new weapon, the bolt action rifle, the bolt a rifle, the bolt action rifle, some ops show up? The ops pull up? Oh, you're gonna get it, let me tell you that. Okay, and I've got the high ground. Oh, it's over. I've got the high ground. It is done. Okay. Oh, Ooh, that was a sneaky little bitch. Now we go after their bodies. 
Easy now. Because these bounty hunters always have a little something extra. In my opinion, at least. They got those, you know, those gold watches, the platinum hey, bands, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. All the stuff that I'm interested in, to be I'll honest with you. Good evening to you too, sir. Let me just loot this man's. Please tell me you have something good, a gold watch, or uh, uh, something of any kind. What? You have absolutely nothing. Oh, come on now. That's a disgrace. Although what I should do is probably go to the fence. The fence, the fence, the fence, the fence, the fence. Because I know in the past two to three parts, I've picked up a lot of gold stuff, platinum stuff, silver, titanium, I mean, you name it. I've picked up a lot of different antiques and jewelry. Oh, look at the moon. Look at that. Sheesh. God, I feel like every single detail in this game. And look at the sky, like surrounding the moon. Oh my god, I'll be honest with you, this game, I mean I've said it so many times, but this game is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so where's the fence? I think it was over here somewhere. The fence, the fence, oh there you are. Hey, welcome back. Sift through, see what you like. Sure, let me see. Alright, let me, what can I sell you? I'll probably keep that. Do I need to? Do I sell this or keep it? I'm not too sure. Well. Amazing inventions, a photograph. You know what? I'll keep those. I'll just sell the buckles and everything. Let me sell that. Not bad, this. Let me sell that. Take some silver. Platinum and gray buckle. Only Ain't five dollars. Special, huh? Wait, a silver pocket watch is worth more than a platinum buckle. That does not sound right. No questions asked. Yes, sir. Take some platinum pocket watches, that's all for you. Gold pocket watch, that's you for you. You got a decent eye for these things by the looks of it. Much appreciated. Damn, I got two grand. Two grand in these times? Two grand in... Well, to be honest, I'm Come not too on, sure girl. what the year is that the game was set in. But two grand back then yep. was a whole lot of money. Especially with, like, when things were really, really cheap. Because I'm pretty sure a house... I'm pretty sure you could buy a lot of land and a house at this point for like, for how much? Like, 10, 10 grand maybe tops? What the hell is this? Easy. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? Settle down, settle down, my friend, yeah. settle down. Because we are here yeah. today for a very special occasion. Yeah, woohoo! Oh, is, is this the KKK? That we reestablish sanity and yeah. supremacy before it is too late. Oh my late. god, it's the KKK. Our numbers are waning. Thanks to the fools in Congress Ooh. and their ludicrous ideas. Ooh. But today, we grow one yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah. As we yeah. anoint a new brother. Oh. Yeah! Into a sacred cult. Yeah. You've got to be kidding me. Step forward and kneel. Right. <laughs> Do you choose to accept the light? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. All right. Come on. <laughs> Let go. the eternal light shine. Yeah. 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 Oh, damn. Oh, no. You, you lot have got to go.
Let's see what they've got. Wait, inspect document. A quarterly. What the hell? What's this? Oh, come on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't bug me. I'm inspecting a document. Come on, man. You have to know better. Wait, hold on a second. They see me next to a bunch of KKK members and they're like, oh yeah, he's the criminal. What is going on here? Letter to Pa. Jesus Christ, what the hell is this? Sorry I left the house in such a half. What the hell that is crazy. That is actually wild. That's insane. Wow. You know what? I absolutely love how they how they have those details where well, because you know like those letters isn't something that they had to include. Right? It's something that they chose to include. It just gives it, like, you know, more detail and more, more clarity, you know, of why they're even in the KKK. Pretty cool thing. I found a special hat. Let's see if there's anyone else that I could loot, because I shot one of the guys over here. I'm guessing he's not lootable. Pretty cool. Cool stuff. They actually, I mean, look, I have to be honest, like, the reason that I love this game so much is obviously because of, you know, the gameplay, the graphics and everything, of course. But, like, the events too, you know what I mean? The random events, they add so much spice into the game, it makes it so much more enjoyable. For sure. Alrighty, guys, so we finished that story. So, in the next part, in part 24, we'll, we'll be doing... The next mission. Abigail Roberts wanted to say something, so that's what we'll be doing in the next, um, the next part. But for now, that's the end of part 23, I believe. So in part 24, we'll be continuing with the story of the next mission. But so far, we um, interrupted that KKK meeting. So I suppose it was a productive day, in that sense. But, but yeah, in the next episode, in part 24, we'll be going up there. We'll be um, following up with the story. So see you guys in part 24. That's all for part 23. It's been your boy Hash Brown Gaming. See you guys in the next one. All right, peace out.